Let's do the first one and I'll kind of show you the nail gun. We need to refill this today. Pat Holder is a humanities teacher who uses a nail gun and a hammer and even a saw. Mr. Holder is in the middle of a lesson with his class of 11th grade students at Jacobs High Tech High. The tools are for the furniture they're building while learning about the origins of life, starting with the Big Bang. Learning happens best through projects, right? And projects give us a chance to um, do hands-on work, design things and bring them to life, and we can do it all related to the content areas that we teach. So I'm more a teacher than a humanities teacher. We're gonna set you guys up by the bandsaw. Students in the high-tech high charter school system are used to unconventional learning, but this is really outside the box. The handmade wooden box, that is, or maybe a table. Belen Perea is a junior who says she's learned a lot and gained some real scientific perspective working with wood. When you're woodworking, when you're working with a piece of wood, that this thing was alive, that this thing had its place on the earth for like hundreds of thousands of years, that it evolved millions and millions of years to become the thing that it is today. And you are working with it to like aid you in your daily life. Down the hall, students are designing and building more furniture, led by John Santos, who has 18 years of experience teaching environmental science. There are tools hanging on every wall. Visitors to his classroom are often confused, looking around the learning space. Here's what they tell him. And they make that connection of, I had this experience when I was at high school and it was called wood shop. But what they come to find actually is that this is a biology classroom and an environmental science classroom. In the mornings, there are much more traditional lessons involving laptops and learning about data collection, science experiments, and assessments. But after lunch each day, students collaborate and create for almost two and a half hours before the final bell rings. Isaiah Castro hopes to be accepted at UC San Diego. He's taking honors math right now, along with building a table. You might see a table, but I see it as something that's like super complex and it's, it's very interesting because this is a table, but it, it came from basically nothing. It started out as like a single atom and it turned into everything that's around us. The classroom concepts aren't always so abstract. There is a large wooden canoe-shaped boat hanging from the ceiling that was built by some of Mr. Santos's science students. He says there were a couple of lessons learned with that project. This learning experience for a group of students that were investigating how humans have impacted our coastal environment. And when you can do something like build a boat as you're trying to gain an understanding of how we've impacted our coastal environment, it makes it that much more real for you, right? The sawing and sanding continue throughout the afternoon. Students are also using cameras to capture stop motion photography that will document every step of their wood making projects. I really do like um, bio biology and that kind of stuff, but just I don't like math. 16 year old Zemzem Fadhil is direct. She admittedly changes her mind often. Not sure what she wants to be when she grows up, but she is sure working with wood is going to help her get there. When you build things on your own, you end up appreciating it way more. And it's kind of like when you're like cooking, like if you cook your own food, you're going to appreciate it a lot more when you, knew, when you know like directly like you made it out of your own hands. All the furniture built this semester in the science and humanities classes will be sold at the end of the school year as a fundraiser. As for making a good grade in these classes, that's unconventional too. Pat Holder assesses each of his students' strengths. John Santos makes sure these students know they have options. What kids experience here will benefit them and, and translate well to any environment. And it doesn't, it doesn't route them along this one path. The, the biggest thing we uh, think about for success is engagement. Um, we have learners of different talents, of different levels coming into our space. So I'm not going to ask them to answer a singular question or do a singular task. That is creative learning. These students will now add to their toolbox. We've been living in constant war since we were children. And we still manage to have hope for our own futures and the futures of others. And to be able to like try to fix this broken world that we were born into. I find that like just really inspiring and very hopeful. You don't need to have like a crazy like surface area coverage, but it's always the more the better, you know, so. MG Perez, KPBS News.